Hello friends, now we will start the new topics. That is the area of a trapezium. Area of trapezium, now we will see the activity. Draw a trapezium ABCD on the paper such that segment AB is a parallel to segment DC. Draw segment AP perpendicular to segment DC. AP is a perpendicular to segment DC. And segment BQ is a perpendicular to again segment DC. Now we are let length of AP is equals to length of BQ and that's equals to A. These two are the AB and the DC are parallel. Therefore, the distance between AB and DC equal and we treat it as H. Height of the trapezium is the distance between parallel sides. After drawing the perpendiculars in quadrilateral ABCD, its area is divided into three parts. See this, that is a triangle ABD, quadrilateral ABQP and the right angle triangle BQC. These are the three parts. Out of these triangle APT, this triangle APD and the triangle BQC, are right angle triangles and that is a quadrilateral uh, ABQP is a rectangle. The points P and Q are on segment DC and that's why the area of trapezium ABCD is equals to area of the triangle APD plus area of rectangle ABQ P and the area of the triangle BQC. Now here the first area of the triangle APD. Here DP is the base and AP is height. Therefore 1 upon 2 area of the right angle triangle 1 upon 2 into DP into H plus next area of this uh, rectangle that is a PQ into distance between them. That is AP or BQ will treat as H, therefore PQ into H. Area of the rectangle means what? Length into breadth. And lastly, the area of the triangle BQC, that is 1 upon 2 QC, that is the base, and BQ is the height, that we treat it as H. Now the next, we take here H, H, H. Take H as a common, and then in bracket you will get 1 upon 2 length DP plus length PQ plus 1 upon 2 a length QC and here again see this that is a 1 upon 2 we were taking the 1 upon 2 common uh, from this uh, square bracket therefore 1 upon 2 into H here is 1 upon 2 it uh, therefore it is a length DP but here we do not have 1 upon 2 and that's why we are multiplying 2 into length PQ here we have 1 upon 2 and therefore it is only the length QC. See this here, note this step. When we take the 1 upon 2 as a common, this remains as it, as it is, that is the uh, length of DP. But here we multiplied here by 2 because there is no 1 upon 2. Therefore 1 upon 2 into H in bracket length DP plus 2 times length PQ plus 2 times length QC. And we write it as that is the 1 upon 2 into H in bracket dp is as it is two times length pq is written as in this fashion that is a two times pq means what pq plus ab these two are the opposite sides of this rectangle which is a b q p and therefore two times pq one is we treat as a length pq and another here we take it as a, a length ab plus this length of qc is as it is and therefore here 1 upon 2 into h in bracket length dp plus length pq plus length qc plus length ab now see this here that is a 1 upon 2 h this is the uh, height distance between these two parallel sides length dp this is the length dp pq this is a pq length qc and lastly we add here length ab it means that 1 upon 2 into h in bracket that is the length 
DC plus length AB. That is the sum of the parallel sides. Okay. And hence the area of the quadrilateral trapezium ABCD is 1 upon 2 sum of the length of parallel sides into H. Therefore, area of trapezium is equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of the lengths of parallel sides into height. These are the parallel sides AB and DC. Let's solve the problems. Now see this next problem. First example. In a trapezium, if the distance between parallel sides is a 6 cm and the length of the parallel sides are 7 cm and 8 cm respectively, then find the area of the trapezium. This is the trapezium. The length of parallel sides, that is a, one is a 7 cm, another is 8 cm and distance between them is 6 cm. Now the solution, distance between parallel sides is equals to the height of the trapezium that is equals to 6 cm. Next, the area of the trapezium is equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of the lengths of parallel sides into height. Now substitute the value that is the 1 upon 2 in bracket 7 plus 8 into 6 and if we add it 7 plus 8 that is a 15. 15 into 6 that is if we divide 6 by 2 then you will get 3 3 into 15 that is a 45 square centimeter and hence the area of the trapezium is 45 square centimeter now we'll start the practice set 15.3 see the first example in quadrilateral a b c d length a b is equals to 13 centimeter Length DC is equals to 9 centimeter. Length AD is equals to 8 centimeter. Then find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. Now see this is the quadrilateral. This quad in this quadrilateral that is a DC is a parallel to AB and we treat it as a trapezium. Now the solution length AB is equals to 13 centimeter. Length DC is equals to 9 centimeter. Length AD is equals to 8 centimeter. ABCD is a trapezium area of the trapezium is equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of the length of parallel sides into height and that is equals to area of quadrilateral ABCD is equals to 1 upon 2 sum of the parallel sides which are the parallel sides AB plus DC bracket complete into AD that is the distance between them. Now substitute the values that is the 1 upon 2 13 plus 9 bracket complete into 8. And here you will get that is a, if we add these two then you will get 22 and 8 upon 2 that is a 4. 22 into 4 and that is equals to area of the quadrilateral ABCD is equals to 88 square centimeter. And hence the area of quadrilateral ABCD is 88 square centimeter. Now the next example. The length of two parallel sides of a trapezium are. 8.5 cm and 11.5 cm respectively and its height is 4.2 cm. Find its area. Now the solution. Length of two parallel sides of trapezium are 8.5 cm and 11.5 cm and its height is 4.2 cm. Therefore area of trapezium is equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of the length of parallel sides into height. And here 1 upon 2, 8.5 plus 11.5 bracket complete into 4.2. And if we add it, then 8.5 plus 11.5, 11 you will get 20 into 4.2. If we divide it, then you will get here 10. That is a 10 into 4.2. And it's very simple calculation. That is equals to 42 square centimeter. And hence, the area of the trapezium is 42 square centimeter. We will start the next question. That is the quadrilateral PQRS is an isosceles trapezium. Length PQ is equals to 7 cm. Segment PM is a perpendicular to segment SR. Length SM is equals to 3 cm. See this quadrilateral PQRS. Okay. And this is the isosceles trapezium that we have given. Distance between uh, two 
parallel sides he is a 4 cm find the area of trapezium pqrs we called it as a isosceles trapezium the trapezium in which that is uh, this ps length of ps is equals to length of sr then in when the non parallel sides are congruent then it is called the isosceles trapezium okay now the next is solution quadrilateral pqrs is an isosceles trapezium length pq is equals to 7 cm length sm is equals to 3 now the length of ps is equals to a length of qr draw the qn perpendicular to sr now we will draw the here perpendicular We'll draw here. This is the that is here. We can draw the perpendicular, and we treat this as n. Okay. The distance between parallel lines is constant, and that's why Q n is equals to four centimeter. In right angle triangle PMS, this is a PMS and the QNR, the hypotenuse PS is a congruent to hypotenuse QR, that's why I have given. Segment PM is a congruent to segment QN, that is the distance between the two parallel sides. And that's why the triangle PMS, PMS is a congruent to triangle QNR and therefore by the side hypotenuse tests. These two triangles are the congruent. And therefore the length NR is equals to a length SM. That is here we also draw the perpendicular. See this here. Okay. And this is N. Length of NR is equals to length of SM. Okay. But the length of NR is equals to 3 centimeter. And PM QN AG is a rectangle. Therefore, the length of MN is equals to a length of pq that is the opposite sides of the rectangles are equal that is the pq is equals to mn sm is a 3 nr is 3 and we'll have the total sr now therefore the length of sr is equals to sm plus mn plus nr that is a 3 plus 7 plus 3 and that is equals to 13 centimeter and therefore area of trapezium is equals to 1 upon 2 into sum of the length of parallel sides in height now see this here therefore the area of trapezium is equals to 1 upon 2 into a length pq plus length sr into length pm that is equals to 1 upon 2 7 plus 13 this pq is a 7 and sr is 13 and distance between them is 4 therefore 1 upon 2 7 plus 13 that is a 20 into 4 and here you will get that is if we divide it by 2 then you will get 10 into 4 that is a 40 therefore the area of trapezium pqrs is 40 square centimeter in this way we have completed how to find the area of the trapezium now we'll see in the next video till then goodbye